We needed a timeout. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you said that. Your preferred temperature. Nah, but shows eyes sometimes. I'll be like, shit. Yeah, yeah it will. It's a smart house. <laughs> Rick's looking at Michelle like, I know it's not the right time, but I am kind of. Yeah, that's about a it. black queen. I am kind of thinking about it. Wait, he hasn't smacked her this whole time? I don't think he has. Yo, that's a black queen right there. Facts, yo. I know you're looking, Rick. You want this, Bonani? Yeah, Pat. <laughs> yo, Pat, you know you pull it up right now, Pat. Man, well, my clothes will be off before hers. You want to call them or you want to fuck? Which one? <laughs> exactly <laughs> what she said. <laughs> right? She knew what she did when she took all that off, yo. Jesus! Look at that. Give another masterpiece for your children. Oh, who's them? Children. Yeah, children. Yeah, he don't even know. <laughs> children. Wait, I got two kids? His name is Rick. We call him RJ. I was pregnant when the bridge happened. That's crazy. That's deep. Wow. Wow. That's you haven't crazy. met your eight-year-old son. That's been a long ass time. Hey, man, he's been trying to get back to them. Yeah, he needs to give me the PRB. What? I just told you you have a son. I don't know who you are. Nah. He's trying to keep you and them alive. You need to give it to me. Yeah, he's right. They're going to go after them, bro. Believing you were alive. And you were. Do you, you think anyone want to be with you? I tried, I tried everything. My nigga, I cut my, I lost my head. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. And, and you pull us out of a goddamn helicopter. That's because I don't like who you are with them. Nah, she's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she really doesn't understand the severity of the situation, bro. No, like she just don't man. give a F. She's on some shit like, bro, we're going to see our kids. So I don't care what you're talking about. We'll defend it. Don't worry. If we get to Alexandria first, hide everyone we know. If we get there in time, you want to risk that? We kill her then. Should have done that in the beginning. She left it all behind who we are. Yep, she's still ain't convinced. We go back. We find her evidence. We destroy it. We kill her. And then. Yo, it's we so go hot home. now. Michonne, you could have just had this car with me there. But like, there was people in the helicopter too. Yeah. It no, 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 no. I'm saying prior. before that. I'm saying she could have just said this, like, we could have had this combo. Now they're hot. They both fell out of a helicopter. Even if we go it's back, they're going to think something. Do you still love me? Always. Well, what kind of question? Oh, my gosh. I've never stopped loving you. That's a crazy question to ask. Yeah, yeah. After, uh, everything, after everything I just told you and the reason why I'm doing everything, you have to know that I still love you. Yo, what's good, man? You are now Black RT TV, baby. Dang, dang, dang. Dang. And if it's your first time here, definitely won't be your last. We should kill, murder, eat, smash. smash. That subscribe button, man. And welcome to RT TV, where we react to everything. Everything. And we are back with episode four of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. And now, live. what we saw in the last episode is Michonne almost got clapped a couple times by Thorn. Mm. Cause Thorn got a better position now and she ain't trying to let that up for nobody. Nobody. She is really riding for the CRM right now. We see Michonne uh, is sent away by Rick on a couple occasions. Rick is at the point where he believes he belongs at the CRM uh, in order to keep his people safe. While Michonne kind of doesn't know the whole picture of the story, so she's like, nah, F that man. We, we could beat anybody. We've been the best since the beginning and we're not gonna lose now. Rick has pretty much been off that that idea for a while now, and we see they're in a helicopter getting Michonne out of here, and Michonne pulls Rick and seems to have jumped out of the helicopter. Beautiful. What is She's the plan? Crazy. I love I love black queens. She's wild. I thought he was gonna say the the other thing. I love crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, hey man, yeah, that's, that's a pity. These bitches don't fault the sky, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just might today, yeah. yo. But today, <laughs> today they're fully falling out the sky because why are we jumping out of a helicopter? Yo, that was what? That, that was that was an elite segue. So I'm gonna just <laughs> shut the fuck up. Let's get, make sure you hit up top out right now for the full reaction of this episode and all episodes of RTTV of this show, many other shows, and the greatest movie <laughs> on the motherfucking planet. And without no further ado, let's get back into the reaction. That's our helicopter. Oh shit. He saved our lives. It's gone. Yeah, technically. Jesus will think we died in there. They all will. Yeah, until so they look to sign up, find the bodies and your dumbass ain't dead. I'm not going home. Why not? This is the most ideal situation. 
Nah, they didn't cut his balls off, bro. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't <laughs> cash shade him out there. Yo, Evan, he has head. no head, nigga. He is <laughs> not in the right state of Quote mind. Quote of Rob's school story today is, my man got no hand. My nigga, he cut his hand off and did it. Bang it out. <laughs> Evan, I don't think he knows what's going to do to you. Do you remember the life we built? What we had? What we were building? <clears throat> it's kept people alive. Nah, she's just saying about love. Nah, but he's gotten consumed by this lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. You guys have a way yeah, out. Yeah, and... but he, no, no, he, he's trying to learn that secret because he said he, to change so it from the inside. He's still trying to help. Sorry. They control it. They have power, guys. Oh That's the thing. You have a family. Okafor is gone. So once one of them, now I'm the only one left. See? He's consumed by his shit, bro. Like, what? They broken him down. Now. <laughs> nah, the, yeah, I don't think you get it. The mission is these people are going out killing people. He's trying to go in and change it. That's not it. That's you not know, it. But you know what? Your wish is granted. I'm out. Finally. Back to my kids. But you know what's wild? If he goes back, then they're gonna search for Michelle because they're gonna think Michelle's alive. You're lying. You'll see it. And it'll be too late. That was fire how she made her. She got a whole yeah. uh new staff. Yeah, new staff. Got new a weapon. knife. Yeah. Yeah, she ain't playing. She knew what she was doing. See? They, they, Nah, they, why did they blow up the helicopter for? I don't know, but now they gotta deal with walkers too. Using missiles on a helicopter that already crashed, bro, that's... Oh, she dropped the knife. But I nah, feel like they, the CRM's nah, the only thing. They're fucked fuck for it right now. Yo, they about to learn in this mission that you right, we could do anything together. We out this bitch. I'll find a way. Just like her. You still don't understand. Signing up for lifelong duty to the enemy? This is about ending. Look at it, literally, there's literally a wall it's between not them. You. Everything, my my hand, my life for you. That's not me. <laughs> yeah, that's why like y'all niggas, yeah. this is rigged, bro. I don't know who you are. Cause the man I knew would never talk to me like that. She's like, they broke you. I feel both of them, yo. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a uh, difference in ideology. That's my DJ Khaled. That hurts. That's wow. just in her leg, by the way. Is it? It's in it? It looks like it's in it. Is it in it or directly on it? You know, it's crazy. They're gonna get themselves out of this crazy situation and Michonne's gonna be like, still think we can't do anything together? It's a big ass chandelier, bro. Right, bro? Okay, cool. It was on top of the you Look at that. This side hasn't started buckling yet. That's the same crib and a new crib. Can't same spot. That. She said go back to the room. Bro, he never thought he was getting no coochie again. That, that pussy fuck around give you hope, nigga. <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, we can get out of here. Mm. I know I can. If I can change the CRM, there's a chance for future generations, a real chance. Fuck the CRM. Dude, he ain't like Ed, he wants to save the world. When you have the opportunity to save the world, you're supposed to. I stopped looking for you. Take care of the baby. Take care of Judith. Yo, you think you're gonna never go show up, Maggie? Pat's gonna go crazy. <laughs> right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're running out of time. No. You show him. We need to decide what's next right now. Nah. Well, actually, Man, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, listen, good, listen, good. listen, I'll jump out this motherfucking window. You got me fucked up, ma. What? did they do to you? Rick, I need you to try to tell me what is really going on here. Told y'all. I told y'all to do. I'd meet up with Carl in my dreams. 
I told, Carl! I told you niggas. I said, yeah, bro, he hasn't been the same since that nigga, bro. Like, I can't figure out how to dial over again. I can't. Mm. I need to get out of the show again. Damn. See, I nigga. Yeah, nah, I, I feel this nigga, bro. Oh, some shit, yeah. That's at me, water winning. Oh, um, I won't give it that. Bro. Yeah, me either. It was good. Scene, it was good, though. though. It was good scene, yeah. We go home, Rick. And we figure out how to protect it together. He finally got him to think that he's gonna die in the process of getting her home. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably. At least at that point, he won't have to like live with the reality oh, of her being yeah. gone, though. Everyone said the biggest mistake the show made was killing Carl. Yeah. That, Carl! That was like so mind boggling. Cause they already made him lose an eye. It was like, that was enough, my nigga. Make him lose a hand, maybe. He been through it, nigga. He lost the eye. He got shot in the stomach, nigga. That nigga went through a lot. And he died. So it makes it seem like Rick just did not do a good job of protecting his family. Mm -hmm. And I told you, he's gonna die in the process again. Yeah, see, he took it off. He took yeah, off the CRM cool. fit. Yes! Yeah, nigga! He got a Yeezy hoodie on, we outside! Look at that, he destroyed the shit. BRB, whatever it's called. Yeah, BRB. BB and J. <laughs> and they got mad fucking guys, bro. Full tank for that Nissan. Oh, they in the Nissan with a stick shit. You know, draw a stick? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, bro. On the road again! They was fucking everywhere, huh? Bro, I would too. I mean, they fuck for the first time, they back in it, B. I'm scared. The CRM's gonna find them, man. What is a, um, the woman with the short hair? What's Jadis. her name? Jadis. Jadis. The, one thing, the one thing about Jadis is that she knows that in situations like this that Rick and Michonne are extremely resourceful. So she definitely doesn't believe that Rick is dead. It's like, yes, the helicopter crashed, but they found a way to get out of it. And they probably even did something to cause the helicopter to crash and they survived. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find him. And he purposely crushed his own, he purposely crushed his phone, thingy majingy, in the order. BRB. The BRB, he purposely- Be right back, man. He purposely crushed the, the Airbnb to <laughs> get to where he needed to be, you know? So. Therefore, Jadis knows. That's actually kind of crazy, bro. If Jadis really sees a blown up helicopter and is like, you thought that can get the Rick Grimes? Nah, they nah, but remember, she I said really that think she, so. she thinks that uh, Rick and Michonne are capable of anything. Nah, I feel so you, bro. Anybody like, she thinks they're yeah, she alive. Think that. She's like, nah, this yeah. is too much of a coincidence that the helicopter that they're on so happens to crash into mm -hmm. this wall. Yeah. I, I really truly believe with Jay, so I think Janice really does feel like they survived that. Anything they're gonna go straight to Alexandria? I don't know, is Alexandria even still a thing? I, know, I mean, we really don't know. Because she even Joel, just said it right I now. I know Joel watches the um, Walking Dead with Negan and um, the other girls. Megan? Yeah, Not so Megan, Maggie. They haven't met Manhattan right now, Walt? Nah, I haven't watched it at all, but I know you could tell me about Daryl in Paris. Oh, what about that? <laughs> yeah, you Daryl's on a flight back? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know how he got there. Yeah, I'm going to ask him, how the hell he gets to Paris? So. I, I won't lie. It's the walking down. I would not be surprised if somehow he got in that bitch. Wow. <laughs> like, we got a hell of a that long? Missiles, bro. Yeah, they do have the United States. You know how long a flight that is? <laughs> no. You Rob, think, so you think they got helicopters. You can just fly and play for like 10 yeah, hours? I don't believe it. I don't believe it, bro. He took, a, he took a boat and he learned how to drive a boat. Someone hey, needs to Google after this. Uh, how long does it take to get to a yeah, Paris that, a boat? Is that, yo, From Atlanta. Driving a I feel like that's what they were before. But nah, this was a this was a dope episode, yo. I love... um. How, my whole thing is, I understand both of their sides. I just feel like at this point, like, every day in The Walking Dead, I'm risking my life. Every single day. I Like, every day I could die. Whether I stay at the CRM or I go with my family, I could die. I feel like if I'm finna die, I'm gonna go meet my son, bro. I'm gonna be with my family. Like, I'm gonna, I'm, and I'm gonna protect him as much as I can. I feel like we've gotten through so much adversity. Michonne's like, bruh. So you're just gonna die here? Like, you're already dead anyway. You're just gonna stay here and die. Just be here and in the attempt of possibly changing the CRM. 
when at the end of the day, I'm promising you, like, yo, we can go get our kids and we've been able to protect ourselves this entire time, however many years, eight years, nine years, whatever it is in this apocalypse. Like, we've done a pretty damn good job of protecting ourselves. And at the end of the day, if you're gonna die, wouldn't you rather die with me, with your kids, with like your people that you actually care about? Or are you gonna die out here for a cause that you literally said to me in my face? That was Okafor's cause, he died, now I gotta do it. Like. Yeah, I think, uh... I was more on Rick's side before the conversation um, mm -hmm. that he had with Michonne, but I still, part of me still feels for what Rick's gone through because when after he explained, you know, the situation with Carl, I was like, yo, I, I lost Carl. Like, I, I never, he lost his wife, Lori. Yeah, he didn't yeah. even mention that either. He lost his first wife, Lori, right? We seen how well, heartbreaking she fucked that his, was. She fucked his homeboy in like a week, gang. I ain't gonna lie. That was still his wife. I feel, his you. Wife I feel, feel you. I feel you, bro. Yeah. What you mean? It wasn't a week, but no, I it was. definitely money. wasn't a week. <laughs> yeah, and then he lost Carl, and then he felt like he lost Michonne, and I feel like that feeling, he can't allow himself to like yeah. had to go through that again. You know what I'm saying? It's only a certain amount of trauma you can go through. You feel me? Especially as he's an older man now, um, and if he can secure the fact that he don't have to live through that experience and. And to him, he thought Michonne and the kids were there in Alexandria. And if I can keep them protected, then I don't have to deal with the fact that they're dead. You mm -hmm. feel me? And I think, uh, I think that's a reasonable explanation for somebody who's gone through what he Yeah, but like, he took, the, he accepted that new reality. I definitely think Rick um, was completely right. I think the only thing that did change was the fact that he had a way out with yeah. the helicopter. I think but prior to the helicopter, because I feel like what he was saying was like, yo, I know I don't need to be there for my uh, for Judith and um, RJ. Sean. No, he didn't know about oh, RJ. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Judith, like what he was thinking, that for Judith and Michonne to be alive, they could handle things like the governor or things like that. This, where I'm at, is the thing that I truly believe they cannot handle. And me being here can prevent them from ever having to handle that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what he was doing. And I think when that helicopter shit happened, it was like too good to be true in his mind. I feel like, like, nah, I can't, I, I can't, I still can't leave. And that's when Michonne was like, nah, nah, we really gotta really, really like, real deal talk. There's a way out, and now you really want to go. What's the problem? And, and it was deeper meaning too. Yeah. That, and I feel like he broke it down. And I, I like the show said, um, I, I'm watching the breakdown of the show, and like even the actors speak about it. Uh, I, I to me, I feel like the show lost the the essence of it when Carl died, because that was Rick's whole. Thing like I'm protecting my family. Like I came back from the dead looking for my mm -hmm. family, and we literally seen him look completely lose the mission. Yeah. When Carl died, it was like, nigga, your wife died and Carl. Like, man, nigga, like, bro, like I ain't gonna lie, like it was like, and um, watching your kid die before you is always a painful thing for a parent. Mm -hmm. So I just think that um, they had to expand on that more. Like it had to be trauma from losing Carl. Like mm -hmm. couldn't just be, all right, Michelle, I got two new kids back. Like it had to Up be, and jump like, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it had to be like, wait, okay, I have two kids, but there's no emotion because we'll see it when he sees them. But until then, he really don't like. There's really no connection there. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I like I like that the fact that it wasn't like a quick switch of like, okay, yeah, I'm ready to go home type shit because like Rick has a like a very very high level of like conviction and passion and shit like that mm -hmm. so like for him to be fixed on this new like mission of like yo i'm being a crm to protect my family that helicopter crash wasn't enough for him to instantane instantaneously have a like i right, yo, i'm gonna go with you michonne mm -hmm. it took that type of conversation it takes that level of having sex and breaking that stubbornness and shit like that for him to understand like, yo, I bet this is actually possible. Okay, now I have this new reality of Michonne's here, she's with me right now, and I don't have to be basically in a whole vantage point for me to like keep them alive. I could be with her and we can try to figure this out together. So I like the fact that it took a whole episode for him to realize that this new mission is actually feasible. Yeah, I, I love that. Uh, I feel like it was really on Brit like, as much as he was saying it was off brand for Rick, I feel like to a certain extent it was on brand to the point of like, this is my way of protecting y'all. This is the only way I know. These people, like I've seen the power that they have and that they wield. And I've also, when I was with you guys, seen what we were able to do. Bruh, we are not ready for what can happen here. So yo, I even though he's not, he hasn't been around Judith for a while and he's never met RJ, 
as a father, I think he still has that innate, like, yo, I'm gonna protect them, and this is my way, Michonne. Just go live. Like, as long as I can, as I can sleep good every night knowing that my family's alive, or having the idea that they're alive and I gave them a chance to live. But what I can't live with is me running there and then blowing our shit up, and I have to watch y'all die, and me having to be like, it's because I couldn't stay one place. Like, so at the end of the day, I understood that, but yo, man, sex will do something to you. He thought he was My dead boy, inside, so he bro, had to be inside something else to realize that he was, he was actually alive. alive. My shit worked. No, I feel, I feel like it was more, it was deeper. It was like, it, it kind of lowered his defenses, you know yeah. what I'm saying? She reached, he was able to reach him like on a more emotional mm -hmm. level, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, that. Um, and I think it, it makes a lot more sense too when she mentions RJ, why he don't ask about him, why he, he immediately was like, yo, then you gotta go. Cause it was like, if, if this whole issue with Carl was a thing, then I don't want to know too much about RJ cause if I lose him, then I'm gonna go through the same, same thing. Shit. And you should go because I I need to make sure that you're protected mm. even more. Or I should go back to um, the thing because I need to make sure that now my new son, I don't, need, I don't go through the same thing I did with Carl and lose him, mm. you know? Yeah, man. That was cool. Well, we are uh, on to episode five, man. It's been a lit season so far. I am scared that at the end it will be a tragedy though. I am scared that, and then I feel like that, that like, that story is interesting, like to read into, like, yo, so should Rick have just stayed? Like, what's gonna be the end if that ends up happening? I'm very interested to see how they end up doing it. Let's see what the writers of The Walking Dead have for us, ready for these next two episodes. Head up to our Patreon now for the full and uncut version of this episode, many other episodes, as well as great movies on RTTV. I go by the name of DC. It's where I'm sitting at RT. It's Maniac. <clears throat> That'd be dope if they go to Alexandria and the whole shit is blown up. Patrick, nah, I'll take That's messed up. Why would that be dope? Yeah, just dope. Man. It's your boy Wells, yo. And I said it was at the, the round table. table. Thank you for watching RTTV on YouTube mm. for early access and premium content. Make sure you join our Patreon. The link is right down below. And if you want to continue the conversation, head over to our Discord right now. We have a great community ready for you. You can become part of the action. Join right now. Link down below. Let's go.